जब एक से ज्यादा हों तो उधेड़ बुन में ऐसे उलझती हैं कि उनके सिरे ढूंढे नहीं मिलते पर अकबर पदम सिंह ना सिर्फ सिरे खोज लाते हैं बल्कि उनमें से कितनी ही कहानियों ख्वाबों खामोशियों को तलाश कर तराश भी लेते हैं और फिर उनका तर्क भी बन जाते हैं कैनवस पर रंग उड़ेलते पत्थर और मिट्टी की तेह से चेहरे उभारते कभी कैमरा लेंस कभी सियाही या कंप्यूटर मुंबई के रहने वाले पद्मश्री अकबर पदम सिंह जिनकी कला ने जे जे स्कूल ऑफ आर्ट्स मुंबई से शुरुआत पाकर फ्रांस में पंख फैलाए खूब जानते हैं जुबानों को ढूंढना और शायद इसीलिए इनकी कलाकारी हर बार सच जाहिर कर ही जाती है सोच और सच का रास्ता पार करते हैं अकबर पदम सिंह के साथ बिटवीन अस आपका हमारे शो में बहुत बहुत स्वागत है अकबर जी आप चंडीगढ़ बहुत बहुत सालों बाद आए हैं शायद मैं पहले एक बार आया था बहुत साल पहले जी बहुत बहुत सुंदर जगह आपने जो नॉर्थ की तरफ जो आर्ट नॉर्थ को रिप्रेजेंट करता है लेट्स से पंजाब या हिमाचल या हरियाणा या इवन जम्मू एंड कश्मीर इसको आपने एक्सप्लोर किया है डू यू हैव एन ओपिनियन ऑन द आर्ट दैट रिप्रेजेंट द नॉर्थ नॉट एक्सप्लोर इन दैट सेंस जी I have never thought of uh, sectors, you know. Uh, it's Indian art, you know. Right. Like even Ceylon. Ji. The George Keat was what I consider him also an Indian painter because right. his themes are all Indian. Yeah. Later it became Sri Lanka and all that. But ऐसा कोई painter है who let's say Amrita Shergill or later on we have Vivan Sundram also here and lot of uh, artists you know yeah, who, yeah. who represent this uh, part. Is there any particular artist you you kind of you no, think? Vivan Sundram is very fine painter. Okay. Of course, uh, he is half living in Amrita Shergill's mind, you know. Yeah. But she was a wonderful painter. I, I consider as India's greatest painter, Amrita Shergill. Amrita Shergill. Amrita Shergill. आजकल आप क्या कर रहे हैं? What is the kind of work you're busy with these days? I'm painting as usual. अच्छा, <laughs> um, off late across these years, painting के अलावा आपने different ways of expressions explore किए हैं, photography, uh, uh, filmmaking, then, filmmaking. and then your com- computer graphics and visual <coughs> images yeah. yeah what is the need that triggered this uh, playing with uh, different uh, you know there two ways of thinking either you say i want to do something new is the wrong way there is no need to do anything new okay. or you take a new medium ji is an inquiry Ji. and when you in the new medium you to invent what you are going to do ji then new things happen acha and i think there's a right way of going about it like the sculpture also ji so when i started sculpture i was wondering that if i'm working with my hands i must see with my hands right so that and i doing it when i did i just push both my thumbs inside ji you now when i see my old sculptures i hold it i my hands automatically thumbs go in ji. in the eyes and so if there is a fake it won't happen yeah because the hand my fingers will not will take my fingers will recognize this sculpture ji अच्छा इन सारे डिफरेंट न्यू मीडियम्स को जो आपने ट्राई किया फिर पेंटिंग तो ऑफ कोर्स इज 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 द बैकबोन ऑफ योर वर्क कैन यू पुट अ फिंगर टू टू द मीडियम व्हिच हैज कम क्लोजेस्ट टू योर हार्ट यू नो व्हिच व्हिच यू फाइंड द मोस्ट फ्लूइड वे ऑफ एक्सप्रेशन द लेटेस्ट थिंग इज फोटोग्राफी राइट बिकॉज़ इट्स न्यू आई बीन वर्किंग फॉर द लास्ट 4 5 इयर्स इट इज द न्यूएस्ट थिंग एंड व्हिच आई हैव एक्सप्लोर्ड द आई डू द ह्यूमन फॉर्म जी एंड आई एक्सप्लोर्ड द ह्यूमन फॉर्म is uh, i'm seeing for the first time ji like uh, before you saw i used to make drawings also but not in the same way the way the light falls on the body ji and i discovered new forms in within the body yeah. which i never saw before yeah you know for instance i was in goa and uh, there are lots of nude girls walking i was with my daughter and she said to me why aren't you looking at them i said they are not nude they are clothed in light Wow, beautiful. The light is there. You like I can't see the figure. Yeah. So she said, "Yeah, you yeah, should be right, you know." Yeah. But actually, one of them entered a room where light was coming just from one side. I suddenly see her, 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 her figure. Yeah. But now you don't see anything. Ji. Yeah. And uh, when I started photography, uh, the main thing in my mind was light, how the light falls on the body. So I, I had a kind of a table or a bed. I would, I'd put wheels below the. So I tell tell the model that you you take the pose you want. I don't know the pose, and just stay like that for five minutes. And I used to move the table or bed in in a man, and when it was at the appropriate, uh, the light was falling appropriately on the model. I said, "This is it." 
you know it's very interesting and it's uh, of mm -hmm. course i'm not surprised but that you know your way of looking at uh, let's say even this woman on at the beach was that she's clothed in light you didn't see her as a new no but ironically you know it keeps happening with the artists it happened with you in 1950s i think 54 54 when um, your lovers series yeah. came under a major I was arrested by the police you were arrested and you you stood stood by your work and yeah they uh, said uh, under section 292 i order you to remove the pennies so i said you cannot give me an order yeah he had not brought the notice so i said go back and bring me the notice yeah. and i'll reply to you and in the i replied to my lawyer that i refuse to remove my pennies right so then he arrested me yeah and the court and the case came to the low court where the justice nasrullah was there first thing nasrullah said give the artist a chair so i was very happy and said he i think i did and uh, at the end of the day he said i don't need more arguments uh, i'm convinced so my lawyer said that uh, if it goes to higher court by if they go and appeal then we cannot produce new evidence so please give me one more day and then we put all the evidence you know even the sculptures of khajuraho and all and all that so at that time they law said that anything done before 200 years is out of purview of the section 292 so rudy ford lyden who was my witness said that we are not producing the sculptures we are producing a government of india publication what were the emotions you uh, you were going through you know whenever in fact uh, i think 2 years back you you said in an interview that uh, even today आप बॉम्बे में अपना काम एग्जिबिट करने से परेशान है क्योंकि वहाँ पर यू थिंक यू फील दैट दे इनफ फोर्सेज यू नो हु वॉन्ट बी एबल टू सी द सेंसिटिविटी बिहाइंड नाउ इट इज नॉट द कोर्ट ऑफ द पुलिस इज द शिवसेना शिवसेना सो दिस इज द माउल कोर्ट रिसेंटली सब न्यूज वो एग्जिबिटेड इन इन गैलरी इन परेल एंड द शिवसेना सेड इफ यू डोंट रिमूव दिस विल थ्रो स्टोन ऑन योर वॉल दैट्स वाई आई आई डोंट थिंक बॉम्बे इज द राइट प्लेस टू एग्जिबिट but when you ran into that uh, proper uh, case you know against you what were the emotions that went through you at you see time? the i realized the police was doing the job i had no no call with the police okay uh, but uh, they had a meeting at the art society uh, the uh, art society fund center okay. where about uh, 30 40 people came the artists journalists uh, and they said that please remove the paintings i said why he said you will be arrested and you'll bring a bad name to art I said, if that is going to bring a bad, I'll let let it have a bad name. Yeah. But I am going to do what I believe in. Yeah. So they started walking out, mm. and only five people remained. Yeah. Al Kazi remained. Nisi Mazza remained. Nisi Mazza remained. Emma Fusain remained. Emma Fusain remained. And that's all. So I said, I've got my defence committee. Right. I won the case in the lower court, but they went into appeal. Yes. When the case opened, there was two lawyers, two judges, Chinani and Vyas. Yeah. They found a solution to this. When the case opened, and the prosecution said, "We'll show you the pen." He stopped. Why do you want to show me the pen? He said, "You reopening the case. Please look at your application. Yeah. Your application is against the judgment, not against the pen." He said, "Why should we see the pen?" So after one hour, he says, "This section two nine two will become invalid if we win this case." Mm -hmm. There are four cases we waiting. One is a Malin Mondo case, when she showed nude in a magazine, and some other cases, really a um, obscene case, you know. Achha. Of some sex maniac, he he was also waiting for my judgment. <laughs> <laughs> so he said, find a way out. So this is only one way. Section two nine two will not be applied against artists in art galleries, but it can be applied against anybody else. Yeah. He said, okay. So section uh, I was acquitted, and uh, section two nine two is not applicable to artists in art galleries. But if you exhibit in public place or so any other gallery, then it's not applicable. Are things any better? Slightly better in India right now? No, it's worse. It's worse. It's worse because the, the people don't need other people to tell you. You are applying the moral code to yourself. To yourself. So if I exhibit today, then I'll be in a big trouble. You've been uh, you've been painting uh, for the last uh, seven decades. I was always drawing. At the age of four, also I was drawing. आपके subjects में क्या change आया है? क्या evolution आपने notice की है? और अपनी technique में भी क्या evolution? मैंने ऐसा कुछ notice नहीं किया. I am accepting whatever I am doing. I am not putting them into categories. Which have been the subjects which have uh, excited you the most across these years? The human form. Yeah. Especially the female form. What about it? People said, "Why don't you do the male nude for a while?" I said, "No, there is a problem because woman's sexuality is inside. You don't see anything outside. You know, except there is a triangle. 
which is concealed. Man, everything is hanging outside, you know, and it becomes a problem. And I don't myself want to create a sensation. You were four years old, then you were sketching your father's account books. I didn't know what art was. I wanted to draw a name of drawing. Do you remember what you decided to do at which point? No, I didn't decide. You know, there's a fire at an art shop called Navlakki. Okay. There's a fire. And they said, we're selling all that. So I chose two art books. One, Paul Clay. Which is my greatest love Achha. and Dega. Dega again because I do yeah. human figures. So first time I realized that could be a profession. How old were you then at that time? Uh, I was in the third standard or something. Oh, so that f- uh, about eight years or nine years. Right. Right. So I was quite excited at the fact that uh, it can be a profession. Uh, you've often said that your days in JJ School of Art were very heady days. You know, you were very happy there and you learned because a lot. Because of the library. Yeah. In the library, I found fantastic books on Egyptian sculpture, then Chinese painting, mm-hmm. then a book of Kumara Swami, Shiva Nataraj. So I suddenly understood about the symbolism of the uh, of the figures. Is that also the time when you uh, probably studied Sanskrit and Upanishads and? No, that was later. I bought the Upanishad when I was going to Paris, mm-hmm. and I read him in Paris. Achha. And I made another discovery, and I found Vivekananda's book on Raj Yoga. That's so right. I just bought it. The sutras were turned also in English. So I went to it and I found them superb. Vivekananda also said that if you follow my instruction, within 15 days, there'll be a change in you. Yeah. Yeah. He said you can sit the way you like, but it should be straight. And observe your breath. He doesn't say pranayama and all. Yeah. Observe. He has to practice it regularly. My mind became empty. Yeah. Which I got into a panic. He said something has gone wrong. <laughs> But I continued reading. He said, if that happens, you have made good progress, you know. Achha. There's a chemical change. Oh. And that has always remained. You know, all this, um, um, what do you say, uh, yeah. emptying out your mind. Mm. Can you put a finger on what aspects uh, in your work came from all this knowledge that came to you? I don't know. I, I don't really know. Because I didn't read with the mind that I'm going to apply something. Yeah. The Vivekananda's book has been instructed me. He's my guru. We are talking about stillness. There must be a certain level of stillness required while you are uh, in the throes of painting. Yeah, because uh, what happens when you are painting, the thought is completely concentrated. Ji. It's, a, it's a kind of a yoga in itself, you know. Yeah. The, your mind does not go in, uh, for three, four, five or six hours. In a work, I work for six hours a day. Yeah. You, I can't think of anything else. I cannot do another painting also. Many people say that when one painting is we are doing, can you start by... Nice? One painting till it's finished, I won't do anything else. Yes. At that time, I don't read also. Because your mind goes on. Okay, what is your creation process? You are painting... Painting... Before, it comes to your mind and then you put it on the canvas or is it a journey while at it? And what are you going through? No, I have been influenced by the theories of Chinese painting, but the traditional Chinese painting. How they instruct the student. Yes. They give him pieces of paper of different sizes, you know. And they say, just draw one stroke, it's a bamboo stroke. That's all. And till he cannot place it in this, suppose there's such a big paper, you have to place one stroke. Yeah. But you have to place it in such a way that you hold all space together. Till that, you cannot do anything. No, no. When you're expert in that, you say, put a second stroke. 